Welcome to the ComWatt Disaster Recovery Training Module for Sales Engineers. The information in this module will help you convey the ComWatt Technical Value Proposition in your sales campaigns and describe the differentiating factors that sets ComWatt software apart from alternative solutions in the market. This offering was brought to market with a focus on the virtualization layer and specifically VMware. But within this module, you will then learn how Commwall Disaster Recovery helps organizations better utilize replication of virtual machines, applications, databases, array volumes, and files to achieve their business goals. By the end of this module, you will be able to successfully position the Commvault Disaster Recovery product in the context of the Commvault software portfolio. Part of the complete data protection package includes Disaster Recovery, which we briefly spoke about in the Backup and Recovery module and will focus on further here. Commvault's Disaster Recovery solution has been designed to combine various software features into a single product that addresses a number of challenges organizations are facing. Commvault Disaster Recovery provides complete flexibility across all platforms, providing true data mobility and application portability that is unmatched by our competitors. Many organizations admit to not being adequately prepared to act in the event of a disaster. Now, you can help your customers address their DR plan and test their recoverability with this DR offering, as Commvault's single extensible platform provides the capabilities to help customers get their systems recovered while minimizing downtime. The user experience is streamlined through the single unified console command center which reduces implementation complexity and has been designed for simplification and ease of use. Despite its simplicity, Commvault Disaster Recovery can easily scale to cover any location, including in the data center, private cloud, and public cloud. Commvault Disaster Recovery is a standalone solution focused on delivering application, VM, object storage, big data and file level replication and DR coordination. Commvault Disaster Recovery is best complemented by Commvault Backup and Recovery, but can be used alongside any existing backup and recovery solution, which may provide you with a foot in the door, especially in new accounts. We started building out the Commvault Disaster Recovery product with a vision focused on five key aspects, ease of use, replication flexibility, cost optimization, ransomware resilience, and verifiable recoverability of our customers' data for our customers, offering the peace of mind for our customers that they are looking for in a recovery product. Out of the many benefits Commvault DR offers from a comprehensive level, you'll want to understand that it consolidates both software and workload touch points compared to other solutions that would require administrators to manage siloed team, backup products, and the DR of those products, reporting, and so on to simply manage their DR readiness. With this solution, they can recover entire data centers from our single platform and console. This approach is complemented by a focus on multi-cloud experience and offers the capabilities to migrate to cloud, within cloud, or even out of cloud, without any additional costs associated to any of those operations from a Commvault perspective. This cost consciousness extends to how we even interact with the cloud resources that are implemented as we integrate automatic power management or worker instances, scale out of data traffic to optimize our interactions, and simplify the design and deployment of our workers by offering a public cloud marketplace image for the major platforms. We additionally see the benefit of flexible SLA with this offering, and it covers an RPO range from less than a minute 
to any defined interval normally defined for around 8 hours. It also offers RTOs of nearly 0 to 24 hours which offers the comprehensive solution for any workload and SLA that customers need and look for. The Disaster Recovery Solution provides a single extensible platform where everything can be easily managed through an intuitive, highly customizable, web-based user interface. Our standalone DR solution is both easy to implement and cost-effective, providing cloud data mobility and verifiable recoverability via copy data management. DR supports ransomware monitoring, alerting, and remediating as similar to backup. Again, taking advantage of using a single platform Commvault complete product. In case of the DR, if source site hit with the ransomware and the first replication job that copies the corrupted change to replica site validation fails, and DR automatically reverts back to the last good known state, the recovery point, and automatically breaks the replication chain. It alerts the admin to address the source site and they can offline primary and bring up DR site in a single click. This versus competitive solutions require manual intervention to disable the replication. If it's too late to do, users might have lost all the copies on the DR site and have it corrupted as well especially in the case of aggressive RPOs. Next, we'll explain the feature specific to Commvault Disaster Recovery Map to recovery objects. But first, we will discuss the methods associated with Commvault Backup and Recovery. The first option is a backup or auxiliary copy to remove media such as tape. This provides a cost-effective and portable way of storing recovery points in an off-site location. However, performing DR from tape is unlikely to provide an acceptable RTO for most customers and is more likely suited as a long-term retention option for compliance purposes. The next option is to utilize a dash copy at a remote location and recover required components and workloads manually. This utilizes the secondary copy of data on disk and remote media agents and therefore does not require any additional hardware up until the point of restore. This might be a good option for cloud workloads or rented DR premises. Now we'll take a look at the three replication modes offered by Commvault Disaster Recovery. The first mode uses backup data from source VMs to create VMs at one or more destination sites. VM replication is typically deployed using dash copy, whereby the destination is created from a full backup and then updates from incremental backups are applied to keep the destination VMs in sync. In cases where corruption on the source VM is replicated to the destination VM, Users can still recover a point-in-time version of the source VM from older backups. In addition, VM replication can be initiated automatically after backups have completed or on a schedule basis, for example, daily or weekly. VM replication includes orchestration features to perform test boots, failovers, failbacks, and other operations that enable you to test the DR site or move operations between the primary site and a destination site. VM replication using backup data is supported by several source and destination hypervisors and is targeted where the RPO is greater than four hours. The second VM replication mode uses IntelliSnap, which mounts either a hardware-based storage snapshot from a supported hardware vendor, storage array, or a VM software snapshot, and then reads data from the mount directly to the destination VM. Using snapshots eliminates the need to create a backup copy for replication, which provides faster replication and minimizes the impact on the production environment. Snapshot-based VM replication does not write data to backup media, 
and therefore not replace a regular backup. This replication mode also requires the source to be VMware, but shares other orchestration features with the backup based VM replication mode, such as test boot, failover, and failback. The target RPO for snapshot based VM replication is between 15 minutes and 4 hours, although this will vary depending on the environment. The final replication mode is array assisted remote replication which improves data availability through mirroring of volumes between two sites. This mode offers continuous replication for workloads with near zero RPO requirements. Requirements and options for VM replication depend on both the data replication mode and on hypervisor type. For Commvault disaster recovery and hypervisor specific requirements, for both source and destination VMs, please consult the Commvault documentation website. Scalability, flexibility, ease of use, and customizable RPOs are all important selling points, but one key differentiator that really sets Commvault disaster recovery apart from the competition is the capability to replicate application and virtual machine workloads both individually or by grouping them together. Today, potential customers are looking for more than just simple VM replication. Commvault's advanced replication capabilities allow customers to easily configure replication using a policy-driven approach designed to meet the most aggressive SLAs. Additionally, Commvault Disaster Recovery provides customers with the flexibility to control when to perform VM failover and failback operations. As is standard with Commvault software, detailed reporting and auditing capabilities are provided to help meet business compliance. Now, when it comes to replication, virtual machines are one of the most common and easily replicated entities within a data center. They are designed with the ability to migrate across hosts and storage. Also, due to being abstracted from the hardware layer, they are well suited to replication technologies. With that, it's important to highlight the overall picture of the multiple tiers involved within Commvault Disaster Recovery Replication Solution for virtual machines. Commvault Disaster Recovery utilizes several different technologies under the hood. For customers running VMware, the solution provides two configurations. One is for recovery point objectives of under 5 minutes and the other is for recovery point objects under 15 minutes. Both configurations require more advanced backend design and hardware requirements due to the extremely aggressive RPOs. The first configuration utilizes VMware VIO technology to continuously replicate VM level changes to the destination. The second VM replication mode uses IntelliSnap, which mounts either a hardware-based storage snapshot from a supported hardware vendor storage array or a VMware software snapshot and then reads data from the mount directly to the destination VM. Now, outside the more resource-intensive options, we also offer our customers with the ability to configure a more traditional VM replication mode, which leverages the backed up virtual machine information to create a standby version of the VM. We then automatically replicate only the incremental changes after a backup completes for the source VM. This method offers RPOs of approximately an hour or less. And lastly, when RPOs of more than one hour are acceptable, it is recommended to seed the protected virtual machine data into a cloud library prior to performing the VM replication into the cloud. This methodology has the added benefit of providing a protection copy of the virtual machine data into a secondary copy into the cloud, as well as providing better VM replication performance compared to direct replication from on-prem. Now, with the continuous replication for VMware, Commvault brings its replication capabilities to a completely different level 
by replicating VM changes in near real time. This feature completes and will replace DR competitors like Zerto, VM, and even VMware's feature of SRM at a point. Its use case is to capture potential customers that are looking for aggressive RPO, especially for mission critical apps. It leverages VMware VIO framework, where Commvault inserts its certified filter plugin within the EXXI host. This provides the ability to fork VM block level changes where we can replicate them over to a destination location before they are even returned to media on the source side without interrupting or impacting performance. The best part is that it offers the same advanced DR replication group and failover failback operations that other Commvault replication types do with advanced controls to orchestrate the activity of their VMs all from within a single pane of glass. With this, we should be fully ready to kick out the DR competitors from the POCs and prospects. The value of virtual machine replication without application level consistency is questionable. With so-called crash consistent copies, there is always a risk that an application is unrecoverable due to inconsistencies or corruption. So, are customers really prepared to take that risk? Commvault's appliance-aware extension capability supplements the basic virtual machine protection methodologies for VMs hosting applications. Commvault automatically inserts an application agent inside the guest VMs in order to manage the QSIC, the application or database activity. Temporarily redirecting writes. This means that the application itself is in a consistent state of readiness for the virtual machine level backup operation. At the time of writing this training, this advanced application awareness and consistency are supported for the applications or database of Active Directory, Exchange, SQL Server, SharePoint, Oracle DB, and MySQL. Please refer to documentation.comwall.com for the latest supportability. We've talked about the various ways of configuring, replicating, and DR testing. Now, when we look at the recovery options, it can be done in a single click, on demand for a specific entity or an entire application group or data center with multiple VMs. Commvault can spin off infrastructure in order to support SLAs based on business needs, saving costs, and recovering application groups automatically, not just VMs and cloud. With the various options available, we can address the frequency of DR testing. Users can configure and schedule it to run as often as desired. They can also run point-in-time recovery. For example, if the latest data cannot be recovered due to a ransomware attack, Customers can recover data from the last data backup taken, even during a specific point in time. Recovery can be completed from data older than a few months or even years as needed. Unlike competitors, Commvault does not charge the customer per DR test and doesn't require specific infrastructure running 24-7 for DR recovery. The Commvault Disaster Recovery Solution employs hypervisor and Commvault components on both the primary and secondary sites. The deployment can be standalone or co-located within the primary site's infrastructure. Configure Comsol Disaster Recovery if the Commvault deployment is co-located with the primary site to ensure that Commvault deployment remains accessible if the primary site is inaccessible. This is how the DR architecture appears. You can use the Commvault Disaster Recovery Solution to replicate virtual computers on a regular basis to warm disaster recovery location. Planned and unplanned failovers follow a straightforward workflow to perform what's needed. With visual confirmations available in Command Center to know the progress of each of these steps, and all automated with just a few clicks, 
It's a foolproof process that is simple enough for anyone to complete. A noticeable difference with a plan failover is that they have the benefit of being able to create a snapshot prior to failing over. Once a failover condition is resolved, failback is also an automated process that's available with just a series of clicks. Disaster recovery options are easy to manage within replication groups. Replication groups can be configured for many different options to dictate common options such as recovery point, retention, intervals, and recovery types. With a built-in view to quickly assess if replicas are in sync with one another, replication groups provide easy management of configured replication pairs. Pictured above is an Azure virtualization configuration. With Commvault's disaster recovery solution, expedite the creation of your replication groups with the use of recovery targets. Recovery targets allow a predefined set of options to be configured and used when creating replication groups. This helps customize your DR testing, custom VM size, region and zone, security groups, and REIP. When a disaster strikes, things can't get any worse, can they? The only thing worse than a disaster? Not being able to recover from one. Automatic validation should be a key talking point. Customers not only need the ability to replicate their VMs, but they also need the ability to validate that the replicated VMs are functioning correctly in the event of a disaster, avoiding devastation. Automatic validation can be performed from two sources, either the DR sites, virtual machines, or non-disruptively by way of cloning virtual machines. Users also have the added flexibility of being able to perform the various simulated tests and queries against them, whether on demand or on a scheduled basis. This is further complemented by way of in-depth reports that are provided so customers can easily determine if the validations have been successful or not. This provides customers with confirmation that applications and VMs are in a consistent state and they are ready to go for any disaster situation. Automation can empower organizations with the ability to perform unlimited DR tests and validation through the use of DR script automation. All of the manual processes like managing application and recovery groups Sequencing, maintaining dependencies are not an issue with disaster recovery. With the use of policies called failover groups, the ability to set a series of parameters for planned or unplanned failovers can help expedite operations, whether they are just as or generally disastrous. Unlike other solutions, we don't anticipate users to configure everything for every group of clients or individual VMs. A default failover group is created from the moment that the first replication pair is configured in the environment, allowing failovers immediately from the get-go. We support VM or group dependency, priority order to boot up, script execution on each replica VM, along with the ability to failover directly into a bubble network for testing. This form of single-click options enable unlimited DR tests and validations which is a significant value add for DevOps. Similar to ransomware, we can use smart validation technology to other use cases like security scan. Usually, admins will have the burden to schedule downtimes and run the security scans on source site or perform failover or dev test and run scans on replica copies. Regardless, it is a lot of manual work. Using our smart validation, Commvault runs scans for malware checks and generates reports as frequently as every day or few hours. To make admin life further easy, DR uses default Windows MS Defender software to scan, so it's just a simple checkbox for users to enable this feature.
a user can create alerts and emails based on the scan results. Not only the security scan, use cases like OS update testing before updating the production servers can be done using this method. Take advantage of Commvault's advanced long-term retention feature. Commvault auto-manages the data location across hot, cold, and archive location via copies. Unlike few solutions, they need to have fully inflated hot storage copy, Commvault can support you to use storage tiers as per the actual access frequency. This offering comes with many advanced capabilities as since the Commvault disaster recovery product utilizes the backup side of the platform, our users could potentially gain the flexible recovery types that are offered as well. When it comes to VMs, they can recover from on-prem replica sites, storage arrays, or any instance from any supported cloud. Application item recovery allows individuals to recover databases and tables, mailboxes, and more. Automation is available through the application groups we've already discussed. Recovery of files and folders are also available through this single solution with no additional tools required. Commvault Disaster Recovery is easy to scope, price, and deploy. For database replication, we license this by the amount of data being replicated through DR. While VMs are licensed by the number of VMs being replicated through DR. Licensing can be sold as a subset of the enterprise for what makes sense while service providers can receive the benefit of utility billing based on monthly high watermark usage. These options make it easy for any customer to buy and use. Here is the support matrix. Leftmost column is source site or platform, and the top row is the destination. The teal cells indicate where full DR orchestration options are available with support, continuing to expand regularly. Replication for virtualization is currently our most featured DR product but we do support replication of databases, file systems, and storage as well, with efforts to level out that feature set across other workloads. Support for these features are available in our publicly available documentation portal. Based on publicly available information, we can see that Commvault's disaster recovery solution offers a significant series of advantages over some of our competitors like Zerto, VMware, Azure, Carbonite, and VM. Notably, we are the only vendor that offers cross-hypervisor replication. With an expanded set of database replication options, built-in deduplication and encryption, and a massive list of supported arrays, the choice is particularly clear for organizations. For the latest competitive information, though, please consult our partner portal. In this module, you learned how Commvault Disaster Recovery ensures business continuity and verifiable recoverability across cloud and on-prem environments. Commvault Disaster Recovery delivers simple scalable replication and disaster recovery orchestration from a single extensible platform and user interface. Verifiable recoverability via automated disaster recovery testing, reporting, and automated compliance reporting. Cost optimized cloud data mobility. Flexible copy data management for verifiable recovery to validate DR replicas and to support DevOps, testing, and analytics. And a comprehensive reporting and auditing. For further learning on this subject, please find more information on Commvault's Partner Advantage portal. Thank you for watching.